dripping. You open your eyes to the sound of water dripping. You blink your eyes and sit up. To your right, an open window with a dark orange sky. your left, darkness, you blink your eyes and look again, to your left, water dripping from the ceiling into a metal pan, it is incessant and the light is blinding in this room. You stand up and walk to the dripping. You think you remember fixing that leak, but maybe you only dreamt it. You look up and the leak is definitely there. A drop of water hits you on the face. It feels nice, actually. To your right, you see a door. It's open. You look to your left and see your reflection in a mirror. Almost. You see an outline. You see the outline of your body in the mirror, red and hazy, like a drawing made out of fog. You close your eyes. You don't want to look at this mirror because you know what this is all about. You know what this is about and you don't like it. You turn off the lights. And the buzz of electricity quiets. You relax and listen to the dripping. The sound is making you anxious, so you get dressed. Zip up, button up, clip, loop, link, clasp, rip. On with your rain jacket, on with your shoes. You wash your face, dry it. Zip, button, clip, loop, link, clasp, rip, wash, dry. Loop. Loop. And then you hear it, that indescribable sound. Not the dripping. No, it's a sound that words cannot describe and it's coming from outside the door right on cue. This is all very familiar. Yes, you know where you are and you know what this is all about. You grab your bag and walk through the door following the sound. You're walking down wooden steps, past the blue door marks four, down, red door marks three, down, yellow door mark two, and then a memory. Of a woman who was filling her flat with gas. She was in flat two, behind a yellow door, just like this one. This woman left the gas on and opened the oven door. Gas poured into her flat and a Dolly Parton song played from speakers somewhere. This woman was in that flat filling it with gas because she wanted to explode, but she wasn't very smart. You remember a crowd of people watching her from the street. She was hanging out of a window, waving a lighter around and screaming. I will do God it. Damn it. I will do it. Damn I'm going to blow this whole fucking building up. Just watch me. I'm not afraid of you. She wanted to explode, but she didn't know how. It wasn't long before the police came and took her away. A few days later, you snuck into her flat 
and lay your head inside the oven. That's the way to do it. Or so you've been told. You snap back and are still walking. You have a look around to see where you are. Okay, still in your building. You're surprised at how completely out of sync with reality you can sometimes become. Some people call it daydreaming. Whatever you call it, it can be disarming. That woman must have been incredibly sad. You remember hearing that after she tried to kill herself, she would wander the streets on stormy days randomly following people. She was found dead years ago now, in the aftermath of a massive storm, her ears filled with blood. People are indeed strange. With this thought, you sigh and step into the lift. The door closes. You lean against the back wall of the lift, and as it drops, you drift back into your memory. 